here she is guys boo boos and all i'm still so in love with her because she's my baby girl i still love her and like i said no matter what i was going to do that and um i'm sure that once i get her all dressed all the little boo-boos that i see i will not be seeing besides you know nobody's perfect right so let's just get over it and let me share with you guys some of the things that um make her so special for me first of all what i really appreciate that i did and one of the ways that i was able to, to take care of some of the boo-boos she had a little white uh, marking or a little little white bump that i made it into a scratch so she has a little scratch there and on her neck and the, the boo-boos on her shoulder. I was able to, um, you know, just give it like a one of those strawberry stalk, I, I guess you can call it. But it, it, it's camouflaged just enough that it's not a big deal, you know. I did try to uh, woo her eyelashes. So they're very fine. I got earrings on her, look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna dress her up for you guys to see how she looks, but I also wanna share with you guys her little sister, Azizi. Azizi finally has a sister, look at her. So she's gonna get dressed too. Um, mine turned out a little bit more yellow. <laughs> so eventually I'll be able to get a more natural uh, coloring, but I still love it. Everybody's not perfectly the same color anyway. So some people um, may have a little bit yellow in their skin tone, a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Either way, I love her. I love how they turned out. Look at these. And I like that I can put them together. I, you know, it's like when you have to separate your vinyls with your uh, silicone, um, you always worry, you know, so these two can actually sleep together keep each other company <laughs> isn't that silly <laughs> that we would think about that like it's so real real but that's the whole thing about this um hobby is that you can use your imagination you know no matter how old we are we should be able to always use our imagination always play it's healthy even though some people may say this is not a healthy hobby but if you start really nitpicking all the things that people have been doing, especially men, um, you will notice that really it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, my husband, he's a painter, and sometimes he paints apartments. And when somebody gets put out, a lot of their stuff just, you know, is free for everybody. My husband saw that they had an, un an unopened box of a a car racing track with the cars and everything like like back when he was a child and he brings the thing home and i said to him oh what is that for he said it's for me i said for you you don't play with cars he said yes i do i don't mind you know putting this together just seeing how things go how things look you know it's you know just like i remember my childhood i used to love playing with these and then i thought to myself you see nobody would question that nobody would say oh you're crazy you're weird you know that's for little boys no but you know we have to hear it so i don't even pay it any attention any mind you know we all we're all grown and we can do what we need to do and if this gives us comfort we should be able to do it without being embarrassed and my husband's embarrassed when i bring my babies out but i'm like whatever <laughs> But anyway, yeah, let me share with you guys what they're going to wear. I decided that I'm going to um, dress them up for Sunday best because tomorrow is Sunday. And I love to do that. You know, take at least one day out of the week where the babies get to be all dressed up. Before, you know how you nest? Before she came, I have found, I'm sorry. I kicked the tripod. I have found this beautiful little dress. Um, and I'm assuming it's uh, Floppy from Peter Rabbit. Um, the little girl um, rabbit. And I bought this for her before I knew she 
you know, when I was going to be doing her and all that stuff. And I was just nesting and I saw this. I said, this is going to be for my little girl. Um, so that's what she's going to wear. And um, the people that I got it from, it was handmade. His, her name, her thing is called Rosita's or Rosita Reborn Clothing. And it came, she sent her little socks and little headband to match. And along with that, she is going to wear these cute little shoes. They used to be my granddaughter's. So that's what she's going to wear. Her sister is going to also be um, dressed for Sunday. And she's going to wear this pretty little dress here. Perfect for her size, her little bloomers. I can't find shoes small enough for her yet, but she wears those little socks. And I gotta find her little headband. But the one thing about her sister is that she's already booted. So even if she doesn't wear a headband, she has her beautiful hair to wear. So yeah, so let's get them dressed. Oh my goodness, guys, I love her in this. What do you guys think? Oh, I think it's perfect for her. It does bring out some of her pink tones, I think. Look at her, oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. Forget all about her boo-boos. <laughs> Look at all that, she's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, I love her. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. She is so beautiful. I forgot how big her feet was, so I wind up having to put on her sister's socks, or the socks that I have for her sister, onto her. And uh, because this kid has some really chunky feet. <laughs> so no worries. So I'm going to put the socks that came with the outfit onto her sister, and that probably fit even better than these would have fat fit on her. But what do you guys think? Do you guys love her? And I am so happy she's in her blanket. This is one of the, um, oh, this is the blanket that I um just recently shared with you guys. Um, and uh, I just wanted to share something that I missed was that she, um, let's see where to go. Oh, here it is. Right there, look at that. This is from Mary Weaver. She's one of my subscribers. And um, I wanted to share how she attached that to the blanket. But look at it. Doesn't it look beautiful on her? Look at that. I just think it's perfect. Now she would look so realistic. Imagine her in a stroller, pushing her in a stroller. Perfect. Boo-boos and all. She's perfect. Okay, so let's get her sister dressed next. Okay, guys, what do you think? Doesn't she look adorable? I really love her in this little outfit. Look at that beautiful little girl, Azizi Milani. Her sister's name is going to be Talia. And that is because my granddaughter, whose name is Talia, thought that that was the perfect name for her because it rhymed with her name and she liked it. But she gave her the name Atalia. So to make my other granddaughter happy, she preferred Talia. So I said, okay, we'll do Talia. That way it's a little bit from both of them. And so that's what I use. I'm going to name her Talia. I don't have a middle name for her yet, but I usually, Sometimes it comes later. The middle name always comes later for me. But look, doesn't she look beautiful? Let me go grab her sister. Okay, guys, here they are, both together. Little sisters, Azizi Meilani and Talia. What do you guys think? 
I am super excited and happy with the way she turned out. I can't ask for it to be better being my first time um, painting a silicone baby, a full silicone baby at that. And um, I mean, I did a, a cuddle head, which oh, I need to really completely strip and start over. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how that goes later. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy my journey with my um, um, Talia. And I hope that you guys come back for future video with them both. And um, if you enjoy my video up to now, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That's going to help me um, with uh, being able to share my video with more people. Because when I understand that the more thumbs up you get, the better um, your video is recommended. Or the more your video is recommended. So that would be amazing to get that support from you guys. Thank you guys for my new subscriber. I really appreciate you guys joining in. And of course, my support um, from the very beginning are you guys that have been with me from the start. I really do appreciate that you stuck it out with me. <laughs> so yeah, here are my babies. So I will see you guys in the next video because I have to get some rooting done. Okay, take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.